your Giants fans. Another signing, another quick video. Uh, Giants picked up former outside, former Green Bay outside linebacker Kyler Fackrell. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've never heard this dude before, but looking into his stats and obviously where he's coming from, I would like to say that this is kind of another familiar, familiarity move. Why in the world can I speak today? Because Patrick Graham was the linebackers coach for Green Bay back in 2018 where he dealt with Martinez, he dealt with Kyler. In 2018, this guy Kyler had 10 and a half sacks for Green Bay. That, that was obviously his best season there. Now he had a completely, you know, terrible season last year when you compare it to his 2018 season when last year he only had one sack. Not sure what the reason is there. I don't watch Green Bay football. Maybe because since they changed linebackers coaches, he was used differently. Maybe, you know, it was a different scheme. Oh, I do know the Smith brothers came in, so he definitely saw less playing time. Whatever the case is, he dropped off. And Patrick Graham definitely knows how to use this guy as shown in that 2018 season where Graham was the linebackers coach and Kyler had 10 and a half sacks. This signing, by the way, it's one year for $4.6 million, very cheap. It reminds me a lot of Marcus Golden last year. We signed Marcus Golden last year. I think uh, one year, like $3 million or something. I have no idea, but it was a one year deal. It was not that much money. And it was a very similar situation where Golden had his best season with the Cardinals back in 2016 with uh, then defensive coordinator of the Cardinals, James Betcher, who was our defensive coordinator last year. So this signing of signing a guy who had his best season with your defensive coordinator, it's very similar. They're going the same route here, but you know, with the golden contract, I had no problem with it. With this one, I have no problem with it. It's a very uh, low risk, high, re high reward type of thing. And golden paid off. Um, I would have personally liked for golden to stay on the team. I, I really thought, you know, if we could get him back for like, 10 million or sub 10 that would have been great i really like marcus golden he's definitely scheme dependent but i mean the giants continuously have been continuously saying now both on defense and offense they're not going to be running any particular scheme so golden could have fit in somewhere this guy kyler fackrell is he scheme dependent i don't know maybe he is maybe that's why he only had one good year in green bay i'm gonna have to look into it a bit more but it seems like he might be scheme dependent whatever the case is He's gonna come in and if we don't get Marcus Golden back, Tyler is gonna be up there as our best edge rusher, possibly second best. I don't know how you'd rate him against a Lorenzo Carter and or against a O'Shane Zimenez. But it's another depth move, you know. I think I said this in the last video. At this point, the Giants are gonna be signing a bunch of guys at or around league minimum contracts. They're just gonna be signing guys to fill out the depth chart that could come in and do, you know, just do their job come in and work hard and this is you know a guy that's gonna come in he's gonna work hard he knows our defensive coordinator hopefully Patrick Graham could have him replicate his season that he had with Green Bay over here with the Giants um it's just that it screams so much of Marcus Golden to me that I really wish we kept Golden obviously Golden would have been more expensive but I would have liked the tandem of Golden and Fackrell if Fackrell worked out worked out you know it would have been a nice tandem now he he is a bit bigger than Golden. He's like 6'5", 245. My bad, I meant to say he's a bit smaller than Golden. Golden is a bit bigger than him. Golden is 260, 6'3". Fackrell is 6'5", 245. Maybe Fackrell is a bit more of a speed rusher in this case. We'll see what happens, man. I mean, I hope it works out. I Nothing really to be mad against here because it's a very, very cheap contract. Some uh, you know, quick stats from 2019 that I got off of Alex Wilson, Alex Wilson uh, from Empire Sports Media. He played 16 games, didn't have any starts because of the Smith brothers, but he had 29 combined tackles, one sacks, 10 QB hits, uh, a 11 and a half missed tackle rate, 80% completion percentage when you know people are throwing against him. And he played 42% of snaps on special teams. It's just that I don't know how really you could judge that when he didn't get that much snaps. It was 2018 where he had a lot of snaps and that's where you have to go into it and look into his 2018 stats where he had 10 and a half sacks, 42 combined tackles, uh, 12 of them were tackles for loss, 12 QB hits. So he definitely had a better season there, maybe he could replicate it, who knows. Like I said, just screams Marcus Golden to me in terms of the situation and the type of contract. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really neutral on it. I expect a lot more depth uh, signings to go on. I'm still waiting for something on, not even offensive tackle at this point, but a center. You know, 
I'm out for now. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yeah.